friends how are you today in this video i am going to show you how to flush the brake fluid in the rear caliper assembly for the rear brake brakes in tbs apache rtr 180 see here it's 180 so i have already done the replacement of this bleeder valve which i shown you in the other video this bleeder valve Yeah, you can see this bleeder valve which I have taken. It was it was rusted very very badly. Rusted, see, the rusting started in on the thread also. So it's better to replace. If it it it, it may stuck inside the caliper assembly, so I have replaced it. So now I will show you how to how to replace the flush the fluid inside the brake just make all these things ready a bottle empty bottle with a hole with the hose going inside whose other end is going to be attached with the valve so that we can we can capture all the fluid the old fluid which is of no use now so we will start with this process so take off the cap and plug this hose onto the wall make sure it's mounted tightly so that it no uh, fluid can go from the sides to the bottom and it should not damage the paint also I will I will put the cloth all around so that I can protect the caliper assembly and other accessories from be get getting damaged this, this one is a reservoir here it's located under the battery so I will loosen put the cure here and just loosen the valve loosen it hold it press the pedal then hold the, hold the pedal on the press condition and tighten the wall then release the pedal I will show you very clearly from here is the pedal it's already tightening so again press the pedal use it see the fluid is coming out then I tighten the uh, bleeding one release the pedal make some pressure till it's it gets tight so uh, I have to fill the fluid in the reservoir too all the caps very carefully keep all this uh, all these things uh, away from the dust because when you will put it again maybe dust will go inside you see the reservoir is it's very less fluid is very less I will fill the 
reservoir with the fresh fluid I think somebody is also so friends I have loaded the fluid over there Better to get the safety. Pressure open, tighten, release. Make pressure open, tighten, release. Pressure open, tighten, release. Make pressure, pressure open, tighten, release. Make pressure, pressure open, tighten, release. Make pressure, pressure open, tighten, release. Don't forget to check the level of the fuel in the inside the reservoir because sometimes if it goes very lower then uh, system pipeline can uh, inhale the air which is very dangerous for the braking in that case braking will not work properly so check the fluid level inside the reservoir repeatedly then pressure open tighten release make pressure pressure open tighten release make pressure pressure open tighten release make pressure repeat this process i will show you i will give you a clear look you will see the running of the fluid inside the pipe so, tighten release make pressure Make pressure, open, tighten, release. Pressure, open, tighten, release.
So you can see the clear fluid is already coming inside the pipe. So fluid is already flushed over here. The flushed, uh, flushed fuel is all collected in the bottle. So now the pressure is also there in the line. The brake, brake is working very fine. So this is how we are doing the flushing. Thanks for watching.